r slash ask reddit what are you and the incredibly small minority of people who quit heroin cold turkey and never looked back i don't fully understand how i did it but i just decided i was done celebrating six years clean and i have zero cravings or feelings like i want to do it again there are some studies that suggest that it's more of the environment and where you are rather than the substance. A lot of troops in Vietnam took heroin when six ran out and only 10% who shot up were addicted. The rest quit cold turkey. Nobody believes me when I say the same thing. Literally just woke up and was over it. I've been around it, offered it, and always turn it down since. I'm not even triggered by any of the normal stuff. It happened. It was me. And it was it is. I was born with 4 kidneys. I actually looked into it and the odds are 1 in a million. So I would say that's a pretty small minority. Damn did you sell them yet? Yep all 4 of them. Half Irish. Half Japanese person. We are rare. I'm half Ethiopian. Half Russian. If we have children they'll be the most unique PPL on the planet. A gay atheist in the Middle East. How are you still alive? Zero O. I guess he's good at dodging stones. People who sort by new. Thank you for your service sir. Woman at an engineering school. I am the only girl in a 50 person lecture this semester. The odds are good, but the goods are odd. I can write with my both hands and different things at the same time. Impressive. But can you write in Latin with one hand and Greek with the other like President James Garfield? O oh, number. I need to learn THT. My husband was red haired, left handed and blue eyes. Being a lefty his soul would belong to the devil except he hasn't got one on account of being red headed. I'm guessing he's Irish. People without an anus. How do you remove waste from your digestive process? My colon exits through my abdomen, near my navel. I wear an ostomy appliance, which is essentially a plastic bag taped to my stomach. I work on the longest running and one of the most cited health studies in the US. I am also allergic to deer hair. Yes apparently that's a thing. I have never been in contact with deer hair but I wouldn't be surprised if I was allergic. I'm allergic to dogs, cats, rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, sheep, horses etc. I had family on both sides of the US Civil War, World War 1, and World War 2. Make sure you keep it up for World War 3. I can make my pupils dilate at will. I've never met anyone else who can do this. I can also cross one of my eyes with making the other one look straight ahead. I can hold my breath for over 2 minutes. Not a swimmer. And I have asthma. My right leg is longer than my left leg. Thanks for asking this question. Now I finally know how to fill out my Tinder bio. Never nudes. There are dozens of us. Asian that can't do math. Well that doesn't add up. I'm a Latino that can't roll their R's. I sound like a cat choking on their own growl. I'm a psychiatrist that takes Medicare. I'm a ducking unicorn. Thank you. Grew a rare benign tumor and had it surgically removed only to have to grow back and have it removed again. My surgeon said that it was so rare that I was his only patient in over 30 years of practice that he's had to do a second surgery on. Jokes on him because it's grown back a third time. Third time is a charm doc. Let's not make it a fourth will year. I can stop my hiccups instantly by just thinking about it. I don't really know how it work. I think there's something to this. I had an elementary school teacher and if I got the hiccups and asked to go get a drink of water she would say I could only if I could hiccup one more time. I could never do it. And I once offered my hiccuping brother $100 to hiccup one more time. He couldn't do it. There's only 5 people left in the whole world with my very unique last name. My dad, uncle, aunt, sister and me. I've liked Dragon 4 since before Guitar Hero 3 came out. I once dropped butter toast, and it landed butter side up. The recovering heroin opioid addict going to the methadone clinic every single day of the week. Keep it up, you can do it. Incredibly common here, just thought I'd say hi. People who have attempted suicide and are still alive, doing a lot better now, but make sure you check in on your friends. Never know who needs it, oftentimes it's the most upbeat person that's hurting the most. 
left-handed Korean that uses his turn signal properly in southeastern TN. Liberal gun owners. There's more of us than you think. We just don't tend to use it as a personality tray. Finally, I never knew how to verbalize the thoughts on the subject of being a liberal gun owner with a concealed carry permit. I was born the third child to the first of three children at 3.33 am on the 3rd of March 1983. I have three brothers and three children. My three best friends died in a three year span. All of them never saw fire 33rd birthday. A plague may be idk but it's a lot of coincidence. As the result of a drug trial, I was medically cured of a chronic viral illness that impacts 300 million people worldwide. I was the only trial patient to respond in such a medically significant way. I don't mind, and sometimes even prefer my drinks to be room temp or hotter. My favorite is when I drink a water or Gatorade that has been left in the car on a summer day. This is pre-crime. I'm a Calvinist. We are a minority among Christians, but an even smaller minority among people in general. I'm more of a hobbyist myself. I've got my name in the credits of a Star Wars film. Long time lurker, so please forgive me that I've made an account just now. I feel like I finally have a question I can answer. I have visited almost every country in the world. I've managed to visit all of the Americas, Oceania, Europe, Arabia, Middle East, West Asia. I haven't been to North Korea, Mongolia, Burkina Faso, Mali, Mauritania, the Western Sahara, Senegal, and the Gambia. Once I've visited these places I'll have visited all nations, states, and disputed areas in the world, including some proclaimed but not recognized states. It has been fun, but dangerous. I've been shot, kidnapped, stabbed, on the positive side I've been able to eat a lot of good food, see a lot of amazing sights. I've taken a break from traveling since 2016, but in 2019 I have plans to visit Mongolia and North Korea. In 2020 I'll be crossing off the rest of Africa. I've not gone public with my journey because I don't see many fame. But I don't mind talking about it, and having people ask me questions. I just don't want to have any fame to my name. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru